Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a name to one of my cake toppers that has a space for a name. This tutorial is for Silhouette Studio. If you are a Cricut user, I do have a video for that and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So personalizing your cake topper on Studio is pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Just one thing to note that this method works for any cake topper that has a space for a name. So the SVG might change, but the process is still the same. This also works for uh, monograms. You know how there's a cutout part in the monogram and you want to add a name. This also works for those kind of SVGs as well. Now I have a basic edition, so I'm going to be uploading a DXF file, but if you have any of the other editions, you could upload the SVG file or the DXF file. So to upload my file, I'm going to come up to this little file here and click open and find the DXF file and then click OK. If I move some of this around, you'll see that it is coming away in pieces. I want to keep it all together. And so to do that, I'm going to select the top part of this cake topper and I'm going to right click and click make compound path. And this just puts it all together. So nothing will move that shouldn't. Next, I'm going to put my text in. So I'm going to come up to the A and click on the board. And I'm going to type in a name and for this name, I will put Jackson. You can use any font you like for this. I'm going to use something really simple that I know looks good. And that is Arial. I'm going to resize this name by clicking this box and just dragging my mouse across and just move it around until I get a good size name. You don't want to go past the lines, so try and stay within the lines if you can. Okay, so how this works is I want the name to be slightly over the lines. So I'm just going to start with the top line first and bring the name down a little bit until it's just overlapping. And then I'm going to do the same for the bottom line. Bring it up just a little bit until it's just overlapping the letters. So now I'm going to select everything on my board and I'm going to come up here and click on align center. That will make sure everything is centered perfectly. So next I need to weld everything together and I come up to weld, which is this button here and I'm going to click on it. And there we have it. So from here, I need to resize the cake topper, depending on your cake. A good size for an eight inch cake would be about six to seven inches. So let's just go 6.2. And all you need to do from here is just cut the cake topper out on your silhouette. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.